Well, folks, we did it. We made it to October, otherwise known as Spooky Month. And, guys, I'm just... Look, there's only really one way to start the month of October, and that is, of course, talking about Nintendo Switch 2 yet again. I think this actually makes it 10 consecutive videos that have Nintendo Switch 2 stuff going on, and I think it's like 14 consecutive days, so almost two weeks, where it's pretty much been the only thing we've been talking about. So don't worry. We have some stuff we need to talk about this month, including like Mario Wonder and the whole lineup this month. It's actually a crazy month for game releases. So I do want to make sure that we spend some time talking about that stuff. But for today, we're actually focusing on Nintendo Switch 2 just because something is popping up in my feed and popping up in my headlines that could mean something, but probably doesn't. I, I'm going to let you guys sort of be the determining factor because this actually does come directly from Nintendo themselves. Now, before we dive in, I just want to let you guys know that we are on our road to 150,000 subscribers, and we're actually on our road to just having a positive month of sub growth. We actually, in July, lost like 600 subscribers. In August, we lost about 35 overall subscribers of the month. I think last month was 27. So we're creeping slowly back up to positive sub growth. So I would appreciate if you subscribe to the channel. Drop a like if you're enjoying the content. And I don't even know, maybe uh, hit that bell icon and be notified of all future videos, podcasts, and live streams. All right, guys. So what are we talking about? Well, there's this hiring post going up over at Nintendo, and this was originally found by DocTray81, so full credit to him, but it's being shared at a lot of places. I know my good friend Andres Restart talked about it, has have many others, uh, talking about how this might be the case of proving that Nintendo is launching the Nintendo Switch 2 in June of next year. And the reason is that this is a marketing position being hired by Nintendo. And the due date on applying, I think, is by the end of December. And then it says in there that, hey, it's for a position that runs for a very specific three-month period. And that is June, July, and August. Now, why people are pointing to this and saying that this has to do with Nintendo Switch 2 is merely because of this March timing that was talked about from people at Gamescom that Nintendo kept bringing up March, they kept bringing up March, and no one was really sure if that meant or if the system's releasing in March or being announced in March. Now, I think the consensus from many people is that it would be announced in March or there'd be some sort of March event for it. If it's announced in January, March event, launch in June, that could actually make a lot of sense. That's a six-month marketing cycle. That's pretty much exactly what they did with the Nintendo Switch, doing, you know, October to March. So, again, it sort of all lines up that it could be, you know, teased in January, you know, full reveal in March, and then obviously releasing in June. This does make a lot of sense, and you could argue this marketing post from Nintendo means exactly that, that, hey, we're going to launch this bad boy in June. And you know what? I can't sit here and say... It's not possible. Of course it could launch in June. It could also launch in March. It could also launch in August. It could launch in September. It could launch next November. We don't really know. The reason that I am saying that is because this is just a temp position for a marketing gig, and they're hiring people for retail marketing all the time. I don't necessarily know that this specifically has to do with Nintendo Switch 2. There is absolutely nothing in the hiring post referencing a next generation or a new system launch or handling, you know, anything specific to a new system. It's literally like a copy paste of pretty much all of their retail hirings. It's like saying because they were hiring someone from retail two months ago to run uh, retail, you know, advertising during this holiday, that, that meant it was launching. Like it, it just, it doesn't really make sense. Now you might go, well, then why do they want to hire someone for marketing in the middle of summer to handle retail? marketing right i guess that's probably the biggest argument and absolutely that could be to market the nintendo switch too it could also be to market anything they could have a major game releasing next summer they could have a revision launching they could just be doing a summer thing like you could have a summer direct and maybe they're going to do an in-person event maybe they're going to have demos look again it could be for nintendo switch too i'm just also throwing out the possibility that this doesn't specifically say Nintendo Switch 2, but I would say it is at least somewhat notable that they are hiring someone to market. So obviously I want to know what you guys think about this down in the comments below. And, and if you guys think that this actually pertains to Nintendo Switch 2, which it very well might, or if it's just much to do about nothing. And we're just grasping at straws because, hey, you know what? Any information is better than no information. 
But I, again, we, we don't really know, and I think we'll have a much greater idea once Nintendo unveils the system. And I am of mind that in the first three months of 2024, Nintendo's at least going to tease their brand new system. I could be wrong, of course, but that is just my gut feeling. And I think the big reason a lot of people are talking about this, and Dr. 81 uh, brought it up himself, is that there seems to be a growing contingency of fans that are yelling Team 2025. And I think they're yelling Team 2025 not because they actually think Nintendo Switch 2 is launching in 2025. I think there's a grander purpose at, at you know it, it here, and that is that when we got all hyped for the Nintendo Switch Pro, which many people swear don't that never existed, all the insiders claim it existed and actual dev kits were out there, but whatever. We're not going to go down that rabbit hole. The point is that we got really hyped for that. All of us that weren't in the know got really hyped, and then it didn't really come out, and then instead we got a revision in the Nintendo Switch OLED. So I think people are trying to protect themselves from 2024 expectations. So when you see them out there screaming, Nintendo hasn't said anything. Technically, they said something in 2021. Not going to go there, though. We already know all this. We're rehashing stuff Nintendo's already said. Nintendo, in fact, has already said they're working on new hardware, and they've said that publicly. But when we're looking forward to 2024, I think people just scream Team 2025. Nintendo's not going to veil it. They'll bring up all the logic. Oh, Nintendo's never had a system this successful for this long. Nintendo always takes eight years in between releasing handheld systems, which has literally never happened. Uh, so, look, it, it's... <laughs> It's just it's just funny watching the made up rationale coming out that Nintendo is waiting till 2025. I'll say this: I could have given Team 2025 some credence if, in this last Nintendo Direct, Nintendo actually announced new video games. Instead, they showed off games already announced, or they announced a bunch of ports, remasters, slash remakes. They didn't announce anything new. If you think about it, like, what's our new game in 2024? Yeah, we have Metroid Prime 4 TBA. But what's the actual new game announced for next year? Princess Peach Showtime. That's it. We've never gone into a year of Switch only knowing about a single game that's actually brand new. So I'm just going to say that it's very clear with that last Direct that we, we are getting a new system next year. But I understand you want to temper your expectations. You don't want to get super hyped and upset. You'd rather wait for Nintendo to announce the thing, or you just rather assume it's so far off you don't need to think about it. And this isn't to say that I'm not happy with the Nintendo Switch. Heck, look at the month of October. I mean, yeah, we have third-party games like Sonic Superstars. We have Detective Pikachu Returns coming here this week. We have, obviously, Mario Wonder as well. If you're PlayStation, you got you know, was it Spider-Man 2 coming. I think Assassin's Creed uh, Mirage comes out this month as well. I don't know. It's a packed month, so a, a lot of stuff to play. But I'm just pointing out that, hey, it doesn't really make any logical sense to be Team 2025, and this hiring post might be suggesting summer. It also might not actually mean anything. Anyways, guys, you guys let me know what you think about this stuff down in the comments below. If you're tired of talking about Nintendo Switch 2, or if you're actually subscribed because this is what you want, is every little morsel that exists out there that might be related to Nintendo Switch 2. Because if that's the case, you're going to get a lot of that. If you're looking forward to actual news on the upcoming games, don't worry, I am planning to start putting out multiple videos a day, and one of those videos will hopefully be more leaning towards the actual game news. We have a bunch of stuff happening with Mario Wonder, new game footage, new commercial, new information, so I want to make sure that I, I gather all that and make a nice video. I also think at some point before the system is unveiled, we might need to do a what we know about Nintendo Switch 2, and we can go off what Nintendo has said. Uh, what reliable insiders have said, what the fringe rumors are, and what some of the speculation is, and separate that into multiple sections. But I will note that if we do a What We Know About Nintendo Switch 2 video, it's going to be quite long. You're looking at probably a half hour to a 40 minutes. Not sure you guys want to tune into something like that. You guys let me know if that's something you're interested in, and I can start working on that, because that's going to have a script. It's going to be really long-winded. I have a lot of notes i got to go through, a lot of facts i got to sift through, a lot of things I need to show you on screen. So I don't know. Let me know if that's something you're interested. Anyways, guys, I'm Nathaniel Robojance from Nintendo Prime, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.